near Burlington. Yeah, the Piedmont drag strip. Right. Get a little VFR they, lamp. Yeah, for they it. still do that. It's still open. Brisk is uh, cross country in. That's it. Done, I think. Ash Pro Traffic, Cherokee 102 Lima Charlie is about five miles to the north. Can enter on a 45 for the left downwind runway three. Ash Pro. All right. And start our descent. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, sure. Just pull it back to 21, 2200 RPM. Let her slowly go down. I need some tar peat, or is that when we get below uh, 20? This it doesn't pipe? have the green arc like Cessna's do. Uh, but this is older. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, they didn't do that probably until the 70s. Two miles final, three, one, try low. What's the RPM typically for carb? About 17, 18? Or? That's a Cessna thing, right? That's not a Piper thing. Oh, you don't need carb? Piper's only when you suspect you have icing. Oh, okay. So you don't have to use it, but, you know. Nice, okay. Didn't realize that was just Cessna specific. That is a Cessna carbureted thing. Most Pipers... If you read the checklist, it doesn't say anything about pulling the, unless you suspect you have carb icing. Okay. We'll hear the engine rough, we'll pull it out. And then typically, even in a Cessna, I'll do it for a little while, and then on final, I'll shove it back in. Right, gotcha. in case of a go around. If we did a long descent, we thought we might pick up some. We could put it on for a little while, you know. Yeah, we had visible moisture or something. Right, or damp day, you know. Right. I think it's too cold for ice, carb ice. You can pick up a carb ice on a hot, humid day, too. Then I'd start squaring it up, fly you a nice big pattern so you can get a good look at it, right? Especially if it's windy. Watch that. That's usually, what, about 1,500 RPM for 150 or something? But right. I, we use about 1,700 probably as a good power setting to pull it when you're ready to start the descent. Okay. Ashboro traffic, Cherokee 2 Lima Charlie's left downwind runway 3, Ashboro. Pump is still on. We'll leave it. Just leave everything on. Lights are on already. But you can get the mixture rich now, right? For yeah. landing. All right. Landing checklist. All right. Before landing check is complete, right? We got everything. That's Lights, it. camera. <laughs> Fuel pumps on. Uh, gear on. Yeah. Gears already down. That's nice. We hope it's still down. Yeah. <laughs> a little crack on the windshield there. Yeah, I think somebody melted it with the heat. Heat the defrost. Right, where's our flaps? Johnson bar, right? So when we get a beam, we're slow enough for one notch already, right? Even with the power, right? There's one notch. Usually I only land with two. Okay. And I think Chris does too, Norman. And I'll get the second one on base, and then you're done, right? Right. All right, go ahead and start turning base here in a minute. All right, go ahead and call our thing. All right. Ashboro traffic, Cherokee 102 Lima Charlie's turning left base, runway 3, Ashboro. As the wind is behind us, you're going to have to turn, keep turning, right? So yep. we don't overshoot. Right. That's why I wanted to fly a little bit wider, too. Ashboro traffic, 2 Lima Charlie's turning final, runway 3, Ashboro. Just keep coming around because of the wind, right? Right. I'm assuming we got a pretty stiff breeze from our left. the sock but it's out there midfield yeah I can kind of see it it's kind of favoring this runway and then just somewhere our speed is good right 100 to 90 right we're fine but when you're crossing the fence about 90 ish be good right yeah and whatever trim if you want to trim it or not you know or if you just want to hold it power's probably good right there right that's about 16 17 Yep. Which seems to hold a good angle. It almost needs a little power. Just don't let the nose pop up. Right. We get down low to the ground, the wind usually comes. 
here too, right? Once we get below these little hills. Power to idle. And just hold us right there. Don't let a little left ailer. <laughs> There we go, and then ease on your brakes, get the flaps up. All right. And his tires kind of squall. I think that's the damn toe in. I don't think that's actually squall. I think, I don't know. It does that. <laughs> We're wearing tires out. Ashboro traffic, two Lima Charlie's clear the active Ashboro. And then if you get the fuel pump off, land light off. Figure out where to park. I guess like, I don't know if we want to just go to the right and then left. Wind's kicking pretty good. Yeah, it is. Luckily, we've already landed. We're done with that. Yeah, it wasn't too the bad. Hard, hard part. So, yeah. like I said, you get below these trees and hills. Usually, it's okay. It wasn't too bad. So you kind of almost have to hurry up, and get down there. Right here beside the Bonanza or Cherokee or whatever this is. Yeah. Yeah, we probably fit in this airplane. Yeah, I think so. I'm yeah. Hit that uh, right there. See, yeah, it's just crappy the way they laid them out. All right. We'll stop. 1,000 RPM. Radios. So music. Is that that same banana? I think it is, isn't it?